YouTube. Bellatro be balling with a brand new patch that you can play right now if you enable the beta on Steam. You have to have it on Steam. If not, you'll probably just have to wait probably about a week. Um, but either way, this patch is massive, and I thought that it would be worth going over for a multitude of reasons. One, I thought it would be fun new content to try uh, and, and figure out maybe a way that we could do something like this in the future. It doesn't, it won't happen very often, right? These new patches aren't going to be coming out all the time. I'm not going to be like some League of Legends YouTuber that's just new, 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 this new build, this new everything. But every time that something new comes out, maybe, I don't know. Also, I needed some lazier content per se. It's not really lazier for Andrew. He still has to do a lot of the same edits and make the funny memes. Andrew, do a funny meme. But I just have a lot going on on my plate um, this week with between multiple types of stream, like the tournament that you should be watching me in today, the tournament that I am in today. You should watch the tournament that I'm in right now um, and, and many other things. But don't worry, lots of content like the tournament will be coming soon. I, I hope you enjoy the content nonetheless, and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. All right. So the experimental branch is live on Steam. Just wanted to pass this along. This is the Discord message from Local Dunk. Uh, I have... Uh, the first version of 1.0.1 .1, ready to test. There are a lot of changes included here. So I wanted to extend the public test to ensure that everything is working smoothly before pushing it for live for real. Probably in about a week. There you go. And I go live in about a week. Uh, click on the gear icon, go to properties, betas, blah, and select public experimental. So it's in here. You go to Bellatro, you go to properties, you go to betas, and then you'll go public experimental. And I've been told by people in chat that apparently it doesn't uh, it doesn't get rid of your unlocks. Let's go over the notes. Let's see what's up. Updated version of Love 2D. This vixed version vixed an issue on Windows and the Steam Deck causing poor stuttery performance. Cool, we love bug fixes. Let's go, local dunk. When's the Sigma branch? <laughs> you wouldn't be able to handle the Sigma branch. Added toggle to reduce motion, removing the swirly background and gyrating card motion. Cool. Hell yeah. We love accessibility options. Let's go, local dunk. Change def default fallback tarot from fool to strength when all tarots are on screen. Wait, what? If the game can't give you a tarot, as you have all in your stash. Oh! Wait, why is it? Why would it give you a strength over a fool? Change gold stake random seed now ensures that the first legendary joker on that seed is a joker that you have not won with on gold stake for completionist plus plus enjoy. plus hunting. Wait, that's kind of cool. It's kind of cool, but also not cool at the same time. Cause there would be times that you would be like, I really, 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 really want to, to win with like, this would win me the run if I got this specific legendary Joker, but I know that it's only gonna give me the shitty one that doesn't really do a whole lot for my current deck that's working right now. So then you just wouldn't use the card if you already had a full hand of Joker. Like there's like a scenario I feel like where that could actually, like that knowledge could like hurt your decision making. I don't know, but it's only the first one, right? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, but how many fucking legendary Jokers are you seeing in a run, man? Yo, bro, you see a multi-legendary, you lucky bitch, duel is good for literally unplayable game <laughs> change the anti-scaling in white stake anti three from 2800 to 2000 and four from 6000 to 5000 so the game's getting slightly easier at the base stake okay and then change the anti-scaling in green stake is, is that's getting easier am i reading that correctly and then anti-scaling in green stake from nine from to 900 to 2400 to 7000 Dude, look at the difference in scaling at purple steak, man. Holy, things scale so much faster. Holy fuck. God damn. Okay. Yeah, so things are just going to scale a little bit slower. Just overall, the game is just going to be a slightly, slightly easier. Oh, God, the orange steak change. Scrapped increasing pack cost. New perishable mechanic. Jokers have a 30% chance to have a perishable sticker disabling them after five rounds Woo. wait what's the chance of them being eternal is it also 30 percent i wonder if they can be perishable and eternal so you could have a permanent dead joker perishable and, and eternal do not stack okay 
Interesting. They cannot. Okay. And then gold stakes scrapped minus one hand size. I like that. I like that because I, I like it's very similar to the one boss that like auto selects a card for you being a final boss. Like I, I don't mind that boss being in the game, but that that boss being a final boss early on felt so shit. This was back in the demo when when you could only get to to to, to eighth ante, um, or fi fifth ante or something like that. It was only certain ante, um, and you knew that that was gonna be your final boss. That felt like such shit. Um, and, and local Thunk agreed and was like, we're gonna make changes, and then just released endless mode, so it doesn't really matter. Just beat the boss forehead. Um, uh, added a new rental mechanic. Jokers have a 30% chance to have a rental sticker. Stacks with Eternal and Perishable. Making them cost $1 up front and $3 every round. Local Dunk literally watches my stream too much and, and bought into the fucking landlord bit. They'll be good early though, right? Like, obviously not with Eternal. Eternal would be fucking hell. But like, especially if it's a money joker, that'd be fine, right? Like if it's a joker that you can guarantee or almost guarantee to make money every round, like a business card, right? Whatever, whatever. Um, at that point, it's like me, you know, leasing a car and then I'm an Uber driver, right? Like I'm leasing the car in order to make money. Got to spend money to make money. Call that hustling, baby. But if you get an eternal joker early on that you just need, that would fucking suck. But like a $1 perishable used for a round, can it? I guess that still would cost four dollars. That would still cost four dollars, which is like the price of a thing. Hmm. Change Eternal to apply to Jokers in buffoon packs. Oh, could you not find Eternal Jokers in buffoon packs? Again, I haven't gotten to these stakes, so I don't even know how they even play. But I'm really excited to to play on these stakes. I've been I've been a little slow boy when it comes to getting gaining my to going up in stakes, man. Maybe because I got COVID for a week. Change the first shop to, in every run, to always include a normal buffoon pack as one of the options. Oh. Oh. Wait, me likey. Wait, I really like that. Because I feel like there's always been, like, the time that you go into an initial shop and you're like, well, I guess I'm buying a Venus. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm buying an Earth. <laughs> Sweet. Like... <laughs> Shit, that's dope. <laughs> but yeah, like a a, a purchasable, like because the the buffoon pack, the the normal buffoon pack is like always purchasable, right? It's only like four bucks. So like a four dollar buffoon pack, that's good, nice. That actually like I feel like that makes feels runs like feels makes runs feel doable. That's really good. Okay, wait, dude, local dunk is so good. Upcoming blind slash tags can now be seen in the shop immediately after defeating a boss. Blind slash casting out. Blind slash tags can now be seen in the shop. Oh, like you can see the next act after defeating the boss? That's big. There's been so many times where I'm like, okay, what's coming up? Let's start preparing. That's huge. That's good. That's good change. Yeah, that's that's a that's a that's a that's a plus two change. Okay, these are all such good changes. Some blinds are now some blinds are now banned on challenge runs. Banned Crimson Heart, Verdant Leaf, and Amber Acorns on Joker list. Okay, yeah, just so just making making the challenges feel less punished. Buffed Saturn now gives plus three malt instead of plus two for straights. Cool. That's awesome. I feel like I hadn't been going for straights a lot, so that's that's cool. Uh Neptune um now gives plus four malt instead of plus three malt. Okay. Eris now gives plus fifty chips instead of plus forty chips for flush five. That just makes sense kind of canonically because five for a flush five. Okay. Buffed series now gives plus four malt instead of plus three malt for flush house. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're scaling, we're scaling. Uh, change the uncommon tag now makes the uncommon joker free. Ooh. I think because like the uncommon joker tag was always like it, it's never something you use late. It was always something you were supposed to use early. So making it like that is cool. Um, rare tag also makes the rare joker free. That's insane. That's fucking bonkers early. Holy shit. Because think about this now, right? You see the rare tag, uh, act one, round one, right? Anti small blind. You're, you skip that, beat the next guy. You're guaranteed. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let me read this again. The first shop in every run will always include a buffoon pack. Yeah, so it doesn't say it's only after if you only do small blind. It's not if you take small blind. It's always. It's always first shop you see. So you take that, you, you dodge, you get a rare joker plus a buffoon. That's a double joker first shot. That's so insanely good. 
Wait, skips are going to be good now. Negative polychrome hollow foil tags all make their respective Joker free as well. Changed investment to give $25 instead of 15 Okay. Changed eight ball. Scrapped old effect and new effect. One in four chance to spawn a tarot when any eight is played. Scored. Sorry, when it's scored. Changed blue seal. Now creates a planet card of the final poker hand played during the round. Holy fuck. Changed bad, bad, and mad and clever joker. Scrapped four trapped scrapped contains four of a kind effect now applies instead to any hand that contains a two pair uh mad and clever joker i need to look those up ah they're they're chip boost to four of a kind ah 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 and so i'm assuming that mad joker is the flat malt buff um right it's the flat malt buff with with four of a kind not the times malt buff but the flat malt buff yeah. Okay, so now they're moved to two pair. Honestly, solid. I did feel like those jokers were hard to take because by the time you get to a four of a kind deck, you're just like, you're you're, you're cooking harder. Like, you don't want a base multi joker. Yeah, it kind of feels like shit. Changed York. That's the legendary joker. Scrapped its old effect, new effect. Gains times one malt every 23 cards discarded. Starts at times one. If you have five discards and you get rid of five cards, that's one times one malt per thing so that's pretty good that's not terrible it's not terrible but it's still on the lower end i feel like of potential but it's pretty good for a legendary because before it was what times four times five malt after using 23 discards or something like that like it was times it was 23 raw discards not 23 cards discarded yeah if you get it early it could be huge yeah it was times five after 23 full discards yeah change magician tarot now applies Lucky to two cards instead of one. Lucky Cat getting fucking buffed. Lucky Cat might be my favorite Joker. So this is big news for Frost Prime Enjoyers. Midas Mask now only applies gold enhancement to scoring face cards. Cost $7, was $6. That's good. It needed to be nerfed. That with Vampire was insane. Now only removes enhancement from scoring cards. Also good, was insane. Gives time gives times 0.1 malt per enhancement instead of times 0.2 malt. Rare instead of uncommon. That's a hard nerf. That's a hard Vampire Midas nerf. Holy shit. Holy fuck. But it's good. Like, if you're looking at how many other things in the game are getting buffed, right? Like, it's okay that it's getting nerfed. I'm, I, it's, it's, it was really good, but it was really only good in tandem. But the, yeah, the fact that it applied to any card and not just scoring cards, it was very, very easy to pop off, uh, especially for being uncommon. Change Madness. That was the guy. That's the guy that consumes other guys. Now only applies on small slash big blinds, not on boss blinds selection. That's a buff and a nerf, right? Because that makes it so if you get a good combo going finally, after a while, you no longer have to, you're no longer forced to scale it. You're no longer forced to eat a Joker. It's a burf. Yeah. So like if I'm on like anti fuck if I'm on like fucking anti twelve and all of a sudden I find some giga good shit I'm like fuck but madness is at like times eleven right now it's so good I can skip skip and then go to the the boss yeah you could always skip and you could keep your shit yeah but that madness doesn't scale so it's kind of it's weird I don't know. Uh, change to do list poker hand no longer changes on payout always changes at the end of round so it won't get stuck on straight flush. Fuck you, local thunk. I actually liked it getting stuck on straight flush because it kind of made it so you had to get rid of it. It was like a, hey, my time is up, kid, or you just get good. Change description of shortcut to include a more apt example. 10, 8, 6, 5, 3. Oh, shortcut is the one that allows you to get straights um, with, with skips and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. Okay, it just, it just gives a better example. Change to ancient joker. This is mouse joker. The selected salute, salute, salute. The selected suit is no longer able to repeat between rounds. Okay, that's not bad. Swash buckle me. Now add sell value of all other jokers to malt, not just jokers to the left. Yeah, that was a weird one. I didn't really get that one why it had to be the left. That's cool. Hanging chat now retriggers the first played two times instead of once. 
What? That's so insane. That with photograph goes fucking bananas mode. Holy shit, massive buff. Changed flower pot now includes the base suit of debuffed cards when determining if it will trigger. So now it just triggers. If a heart is debuffed, it'll still include it as a heart, but it doesn't, it still won't count for like wild or something. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. Okay, uh, changed bootstraps to include current malt bonus in the description. Changed all four sinful jokers, one for each suit, uh, that will now give plus three malts per suit instead of plus four malts. Damn, that's kind of a hard nerf. Changed banner now gives plus 30 chips per remaining discard instead of plus 40 chips. I didn't really think that banner was that strong, but okay. Changed Fibonacci cost eight dollars instead of seven dollars because Fibonacci. Thank you for subscribing. Base and fair. Changed Steel Joker now gives plus times 0.2 malt per steel card in the deck instead of 2.25. That makes sense. Yeah, that shit need to be nerfed. That shit was OP. Odd Todd now gives plus 31 chips per odd ranked card instead of plus 30 chips. Huge W. We knew that one was coming. Changed six cents. Now uncommon and six dollar was rare. What's six cents? Is that the one that everybody says looks at looks like me? God damn it, yeah. <laughs> and six dollars because it's for sixes. Changed Hiker now gives plus five chips to every scoring card instead of plus four. Absolutely awesome. Changed Gross Mikel. Uh, now has a one in six chance to go instinct stinked instead of one in four. Hard nerf. Holy shit. Banana got nerfed. Because everybody's like, oh, like your your initial instinct is like, oh shit, that's a buff because it's it's less likely to go away. But we don't care about gross Mikel. We want Giga Banana. We want Giga Banana. We want Cavendish now. Because Cavendish is common, so it's likely that you'll see it after it goes away. I want, I want Gross Mikel to die. Change it. Seance. What uh, now uncommon in six dollars was rare in seven dollars. It's seance. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This this card's hard to get off, anyways. Is 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 hard, man. So yeah, I feel like when you have that specific deck, being able to find it a little bit easier makes sense. Changed Riff Raff was six dollars, is now four dollars. Riff Raff, that's a huge buff because Riff Raff just summons you more Jokers, and then you can sell those Jokers. So that's just plus money. That's huge. Um, changed Vagabond. It is now rare and it costs eight dollars and applies when you have four dollars or less instead of three. Good change. Good change, honestly. Solid change. Change Rift Rap. Oh, it's nerf. Oh, I bet. Change cloud nine. Seven dollars was six. Mail and rebate, five dollars. Reserved parking. Now common was uncommon. Lucky cat now gives point two fun. Lucky cat buffed too? Magician got buffed and lucky cat got buffed? Holy fuck, dude. It's so big for Lucky Cat and Joel use this patch. Oh my God. Campfire now gives 0.25, uh, was 0.5. Yeah, that's kind of understandable. It was really strong, even though it does get rid of it after every uh, act. Um, Smiley Face now gives plus five malt per card, was plus four. Ooh, wait, face card's getting up. That's crazy. Changed golden ticket, now pays out $4 per card played, was $3. Is golden ticket the one that makes it, makes your 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 your, your gold card gives you money when played? So it makes it more value to play your gold card now? Okay. Bloodstone now is a one in two chance to proc was one in three. Wait, I win the Bellatro Invitational with this. What the fuck? Local Thug actually fucking hates me. Onyx a Gate now gives plus seven malt per club card, was plus eight. Okay. Glass Joker now gives plus 0.75 malt per glass destroyed. What the fuck? It's insane. Stuntman, okay. Invisible Joker now requires two rounds and costs $8, was three rounds and costs $10. Uh, Invisible Joker is the one that allows you to duplicate a random Joker after a certain amount of rounds of it being in your hand. You sell it and it will duplicate a random Joker of yours. Uh, so that makes sense. That makes sense why it gets why it gets buff nerfed. It gets blurf. Wait, no, it's just nerf. Wait, it's just buff. Ah, wait, it's just straight up buff. Wait, what the hell? Burn Joker is now rare. Uh, changed wording on most scaling Jokers to refer to this Joker. That's cool. Fixed a bug where opening a booster pack with hand size of zero was unskippable. <laughs> What a bug. What a bug to have found, by the way. <laughs> it's a bug 
where the card generated by a certificate was not being debuffed by the boss. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> cool. That's insane. Yeah, some of the biggest shit is all of the tags making the jokers free. God, that's going to be so good. That's going to be so good. Lucky cat enjoyers, speak up because now is our time. Good shit, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. What are you most excited about? 